This video is of a rear drum and shoe brake replacement on a 2001 ZX2 Escort. It's a two-door coupe. First thing you do is take out the two bolts that are going to be in that hole and that hole. I've already got them out right there in my hand. Um, next you want to soak everything with PB Blaster. This whole cover is going to come off. So all of these holes all the way around, you want to give a few squirts of PB Blaster or some kind of uh, liquid wrench, something like that. And then also all the way around the inside of that center circle, you want to spray PB Blaster all the way around. Let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then you're going to want to try and pry this uh, drum off. Basically what I'm going to do is just hit it all the way around because sometimes that can get seized to the hub behind it just hitting the spots where those bolts aren't sticking out all the way around and try to loosen up some of that uh, rust and everything and then I'm going to stick a uh, crowbar behind the lip right there on the drum and then hit the back of the crowbar with a hammer you don't want to pry on that back piece because you don't want it to get bent or anything like that so I'm going to go ahead and get this off and then I'll show you what to do next after you get the drum off it's kind of a pain. You just want to tap down here with that uh, crowbar on there. Just tap it with the hammer. And then as you spin the drum, you want to just tap it a little bit at a time. If you get the drum too cocked sideways, then it's going to seize up and it's not going to want to spin. So if that happens, just tap it back on and then just slowly keep spinning it while you try to tap that thing off. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is um, you can check your wheel bearing. If your wheel bearing spins on its own, if you go like that and it just keeps spinning, that means you have a bad wheel bearing and now would probably be a good time to replace it. These ones aren't bad because they stop pretty much on their own. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is take off um, the springs. There's going to be one long spring on the top, which is the same as this spring on the bottom. Then there's going to be this short spring right here, which has a hook on one end and it's kind of like a uh, jagged, almost half a Z shape on this side. So take those springs off, and also these little pins right here have like a uh, part that sticks out. All you got to do is squeeze this together. Next you want to pop the uh, e-brake cable off the back. It's pretty easy to do. Just right here, it just slides right off. And after that, take this rubber bumper off. It's just a sealant that goes right there on the outside. Just pop that off, and then this whole thing will slide right out after you have all those springs off. I don't even bother taking this spring off. There's really no reason to. That's just the uh, self-adjuster. Um, to get this pad or this uh, shoe off, you're going to have to spray a whole bunch of PB Blaster. You might even want to let it soak in something for a couple hours because this is very rusted because the uh, e-brake doesn't work on this car. So that just sits still when you pull the e-brake so it doesn't move like it should often enough so it's all rusted together. Let that soak and then hit it with a hammer or something not hard enough to bend it but that'll allow you to uh, get this shoe out from where this uh, is clamped in right here. So I'm going to do that now. Next you're going to want to spray down uh, the back of the drum and the uh, um, wheel cylinder and clean up the uh, uh, wheel bearing. I just used some uh, engine degreaser. It's in a simple green container, but simple green will work as well. And let that sit for a couple minutes, scrub it off, and then wipe it down keep your new brakes from squeaking, you're going to want to put a little bit of anti-seize or brake lube, just a little tiny bit, on uh, six spots where the uh, shoes touch the inside of the drum all the way around. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, and there's the sixth one. Next you're going to put, your, put the bracket back onto the uh, bottom shoe, reinstall the bottom shoe, put the pin through with that clip, twist the pin so that the clip holds it, put the other shoe on, same thing with the clip. Um, make sure you hook up your uh, emergency brake and now we're going to install the rest of the springs. And you're going to want to push this part that swivels to release the shoe, push that all the way back almost like a reset button and it allows the shoes to completely compress so you can get the new drum on. 
after you get the drum reinstalled, it should catch at a certain point. Just a little tiny bit. You should be able to spin it with one hand just like this. But it shouldn't spin freely either. And it's a self-adjusting drum brake, so you don't have to do any adjustments or anything. It'll automatically do it when you uh, press the brakes a few times. Reinstall the tire and you're good to go.